Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're rolling into the dynamic world of ground-based swarm robotics with Swarmbotics AI, the innovative startup that's pioneering low-cost, attritable unmanned ground vehicle swarms to transform battlefield logistics, counter unmanned aerial systems, and industrial operations as a force multiplier for human teams in contested environments, enabling modular, AI-coordinated packs of robots to haul heavy payloads over off-road terrain or provide real-time ISR without risking lives. If you're a robotics enthusiast, a defense futurist, or simply captivated by the engineering blend of off-the-shelf autonomy stacks, natural language-driven control, and network tactical swarms that turn a fleet of 60-pound bots into a resilient, scalable ecosystem for everything from supply resupply in Ukraine-like theaters to warehouse automation in remote sites, you're in for a comprehensive and swarm-coordinated deep dive. Swarmbotics AI, founded in 2023 by former Embark Trucks executives Stephen Houghton and Drew Watson, isn't just another drone maker, it's a Scottsdale-based pioneer with an ANTS, attritable, networked, tactical swarm product line. Featuring the compact Fire Ant, a 60-pound man-portable UGV for CUAS and EW missions, and the beefier Hall Ant, a hybrid electric autonomous ATV capable of towing 500 pounds across rugged landscapes, all powered by a field-proven software framework that orchestrates multi-agent behaviors via global planners for sophisticated tasks like distributed lethality or convoy escort. From its stealthy emergence in August 2024 with $4 million in pre-seed funding from Quiet Capital and others to recent Phase Wasbiar wins for SOCOM's small UGV adaptations, this company has leveraged Houghton's Marine Corps experience and Watson's product ops savvy to secure over 31 employees and a focus on defense industrial dual use, incorporating low bill of materials costs and edge AI for jamming resistant ops in scenarios from Indo-Pacific island chains to urban conflict zones. We'll unpack its remarkable capabilities in exhaustive detail, provide a thorough technical overview grounded in the latest prototypes and funding disclosures, explore its critical strategic role in US and allied unmanned ground dominance, sprinkle in some fascinating fun facts to enrich the narrative, and wrap up with the most recent developments as of November, including ongoing army trials and production teases. So, sync the swarm, deploy the ants, and let's coordinate for everything you need to know about Swarmbotics AI. Swarmbotics AI's capabilities place it at the forefront of attritable swarm robotics, engineered as a multi-role unmanned ground ecosystem to dominate contested logistics and tactical support with a lethal fusion of modularity, autonomy, and networked resilience, allowing swarms to infiltrate high-threat zones like minefields or drone overflown perimeters, maintain 360-degree environmental awareness through fused sensor feeds, and execute distributed tasks against dynamic adversaries with precision rivaling manned units while offering expendable scalability for operations over theaters like the Eastern European Steppe or Pacific Atolls. At its core, the ANTS platforms excel in heavy lift persistence, powered by hybrid electric drivetrains delivering up to 10 kilowatts for continuous ops, exceeding eight hours on swappable lithium-ion packs, enabling the Hall ANTS to tow 500 pounds at 20 kilometers per hour over 60% grades, and outpacing legacy systems like the PackBot in payload density with modular bays for up to 100 kilograms of tools, giving it the tenacity to resupply forward positions or jam drone signals without human exposure. Its swarm coordination stems from a proprietary autonomy stack optimized for off-the-shelf components, with the Fire Ant's electro-optical slash infrared camera fused with millimeter wave radar scanning up to two kilometers for threats in fog or dust, complemented by an electronic warfare pod that disrupts C2 signals up to 500 meters without emissions all while the global planner orchestrates 10-unit packs for emergent behaviors like flocking around VIPs or breaching obstacles. For defense missions, the ants can reconfigure with kinetic effectors like grenade launchers or non-lethal nets for CUS intercepts, 
with a combat radius exceeding 15 kilometers via mesh networking, extendable to 30 with relay nodes, allowing dispersals from squad trucks to interdict Shahed-style loiterers in the Black Sea or secure logistics lines in the Sahel. Its electronic countermeasures suite, equipped with digital radio frequency memory jammers, can spoof incoming threats or reroute paths during saturation attacks, and the operator interface, with wide area displays and gesture-activated controls, overlays augmented reality swarm maps from the distributed sensor net of eight cameras and lidars, providing spherical vigilance for off-bore site commands like herding decoys, enabling a single controller to manage complex engagements like simultaneous ISR sweeps and payload drops. The platform's relaxed stability, torque vectoring and active suspension sustain maneuvers up to four G-forces for ditch evasion without tip-overs. This multifaceted adaptability makes Swarmbotics AI a true tactical accelerator, capable of leading robotic wedges to clear IED belts, escorting infantry for layered fires, or conducting independent surveys with hyperspectral images, resolving threats at sub-centimeter fidelity through sandstorms, ensuring it remains a cornerstone of unmanned ground evolution well into the 2040s. To fully grasp Swarmbotics AI's engineering brilliance, let's explore its technical specifications and operational dynamics. The company's ANTS design is a sophisticated synthesis of cost-optimized hardware and AI orchestration, creating swarms that are as disposable as they are decisive. The Fire Ant measures 3 feet in length, 2 feet wide, and 1 foot tall for a combat weight of 60 pounds, while the Hall Ant scales to 6 feet long with a 500 pound tow capacity, both animated by hybrid brushless motors yielding 10 kilowatts continuous for 20 km per hour bursts and 8 hour patrols. The chassis' high hardness polymer with bolted carbon applique trims cost by 40% over titanium bots while withstanding small arms fire up to 5.56 mm, courtesy of V-hull underbodies for blast deflection up to 5 kg TNT equivalent, and the adaptive track wheel hybrids, articulating plus or minus 20 degrees, optimized traversal over mud or rubble at 1 m per second. Avionics shine with the ANTS autonomy kernel featuring 1,000 silicon carbide modules for multi-agent planning and edge modes, integrated with the distributed sensor web of eight thermal LiDAR cameras for omnidirectional tracking up to two kilometers, and the ground station's curved OLED panorama with voice gestural inputs and AR monocle for off-axis queuing, where the operator sights formations by glancing at feeds. Payload bays hold up to 100 kilograms in modular racks with 15 kilometer envelopes or EW jammers for signal denial, with side mounts adding up to four more for eight total effectors, including loitering munitions or medevac litters, and the countermeasures pod with waveform synthesizers and deployable chaff foils threats like FPV drones. Operationally, the ants flow seamlessly. A squad deploys from an armored vehicle, the colonel sinks 10 units in 10 seconds, sensors lock threats at 2 kilometers with the array, the planner assigns a haul and jam vector from the lead bot, then bounds over a 4G crater while the net feeds omniscient vigilance, all within a 15 kilometer envelope, linking forward lines to rear echelons, making it a strategic asset for contested sustainment in hybrid wars. Swarm Botics. AI's strategic role is profoundly influential in modern unmanned ground forces, serving as the attritable backbone of tactical swarm doctrine to achieve maneuver superiority in regional contingencies, particularly in attritional grinds like Ukraine or Pacific Island defenses, where its low-cost packs and human teaming enable it to contest adversary logistics from dispersed vectors, integrating with Javelin teams and MQ-9 Reapers for networked kills that overcome numerical disadvantages. As the company scales to 100 units in low-rate production by 2027, it fortifies US OCOM's robotic ecosystem, tandem hauling with JLTVs or synchronizing with allied Themis for multi-axis overmatch, while the industrial haul ANT variant extends its utility to warehouse fleets for distributed throughput. Fun fact, Swarmbotics Global Planner can reroute a 10-bot swarm around a minefield in under five seconds using natural language commands like flank left and suppress per recent demos. Another intriguing tidbit, the Fire Ant 60 pound frame reclaims 40% kinetic energy on descents, stretching missions to 12 hours on sparse charges. 
As of November, Swarmbotics AI has accelerated with the October 31st announcement of a Phase 1 SBR win from SOCOM to adapt Ant software for 40 to 100 pound UGVs, building on August's $4 million pre-seed raise and the Hall Ants field trials in Arizona deserts, where it towed 500 pounds, over 60% grades without intervention. Yesterday's updates from the Radical podcast detailed CEO Halton's vision for two-year milestones, like 10-unit swarm demos and 5- to 10-year ubiquity in defence logistics, with outlets highlighting partnerships for Ukraine aid prototypes by mid-2026. Challenges like battery thermal management persist from monsoon tests, but with 31 employees and endorsements from LMNT Ventures as a unicorn contender, Swarmbotics is cementing its status as Swarm Robotics Agile Vanguard. Swarmbotics AI is a networked nexus of nomadic might, blending bots, brains and bravery to swarm the storm. What are your thoughts on Swarmbotics? Awed by its ants' attributability, excited for SOCOM adaptations, or curious about industrial spin-offs? Share your insights in the comments below. Give this video a like if it coordinated for you. Share it with your robotics crew. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into the swarms shaping tomorrow's turf. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.